Greetings everyone to the victory of the Dome Monarchy mod. I'm your host, Serbian Mocha Lover. And today, as you can tell, we're playing as a kingdom of Serbia. Now, the mods we're using are the victory of the Dome Monarchy mod, State Chester 2 mod, as well as player of the peace conferences, but we must begin with a national focus, the future of Serbia. The future of Serbia is a bright one, and all we need to do is reach it is to reach it is to break away from our Austro-Hungarian overlords. We must start planning for our break away, in which we are a puppet right now, which is you know, usually I don't start campaigns, you know, as puppets, but this is one of them that we are starting. And here are our national spirits. The Serbian nationalism, which I like a lot. Attack and defense on core territory. Very nice. More war support. Austrian occupation costs. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. But I don't like that. That doesn't seem very good for us. King George V dies. Maybe he rests in peace. And then we also have the army restrictions, which hurts our population. Or recruitable population. As well as output for both dockyards and factories. But I think we're okay on dockyards for now. Just saying, since we don't touch anything, any waterways except for rivers and maybe lakes. Maybe. So after the future Serbia, uh, we might do authoritarianism, political power. I'd like to get some daily political power. I think that'd be pretty nice. Ooh, point zero five. the new Serbian constitution. In order to modernize the Serbian state, we must rewrite our outdated constitution and take a step towards greater Serbia. The future of Serbia. Taking a first step to freedom is to limit Austro-Hungarian interference in our government. By slowly phasing them out of our policies, we can make a movement to undermine their control over us. Nothing will stop us from being free. We'll stand up to, we'll stand up against the occupiers. Increase the time level? Okay, that was really easy. Beautiful. So my goal... Because eventually, let's be real, we're going to end up in a kerfuffle against the Bulgarians. Those dastardly dudes, the Bulgarians. Oh, we're going to do this first, too. Um, is for us to have the thickest horses possible, like really thick cavalry divisions. Just massive little beasts. Or at least the divisions will be massive, hopefully, eventually. Uh, maybe we have 18 combat with infantry, and well, they're only 12 combat with. But I, just want, I want to use them as breakthrough divisions, so have the infantry hold the line. But have the horses do do the dirty stuff. Do the deeds, we'll say. Oh, we've got some infantry equipment. we got some electronic mechanical engineering. we got some artillery going. We need some support equipment. We need some fighters. We need some bombers. We could do some ships. But we obviously can't do that yet. Then mechanical computing. Thank you very much. So after the new Serbian uh, constitution, a stable Serbia? Mm, maybe. We do need to invest in Morova. And we do need emergency economic relief because we got to get to resume cash crops to reduce the effects of the Vienna stock market crash to get to an independent economy. So we need to go down this way as well. Industry, monthly population. Um, we only get 90 people a month. This is really not worth it, especially if you lose political power. A bonus for industry, though. Let's acquire modern me mechanization tools. A modern economy requires modern tools and know-how. Mechanization will undoubtedly increase the productivity of largely Agrarian people, even if it is a long and expensive process, the new Serbian constitution. By making an entirely new constitution, we can change it to secure our self-governance. Furthermore, we can make it better than we ever have before. We can make our country great and surpass the expectations the world has for us. This should improve things. And also, uh, there's no historical or ahistorical option for the victory of the dual monarchy, so we'll see what happens. Uh, Captain of Industry, that's not bad. Even though we don't have that many factories, we have literally one going right now. So, actually, if we do that, 1940, 1940, it doesn't even matter. We won't even be able to get there then. But financial expert's not bad. Who's selling workhorses? I like that. I like that probably too much. Dispersed industry, because that's usually, at least from what I've read, I might be wrong, usually better, but maybe I'm wrong about that. Oh, we made it look like an infantry division. Let's go and train. And Milorad Petrovic, unyielding defender... I would like that one, but I kind of want to go. We can't... Oh, has brilliant strategy. He's not a brilliant strategist. He's an inflexible strategist. So, maybe we'll go with offensive and, and yielding defense at the same time. Yeah, there you go. It's kind of a quandary. Invest in Morova? That would be nice, but we do want to get down here to Reformation of the Balkan League. Let's see. How about more daily political power? To truly break away from our overlords, we must secure and strengthen the nation. If we are divided, we cannot hope to achieve anything. Very true. Promises of peace? Nah. And currently, we are uh, authoritarians. House of Kara Dardarevich. I know I said that wrong. I definitely know I said that wrong. Wow. Uh, strength in the state. Even though I would like some more civilian factories. And a bonus for some other stuff. So, that's not too bad. So, we got all that stuff done. It is June already, 1936. And we're not even five minutes into the video yet. That's why I love Victory of the Dual Monarchy mod. It's so fast. I don't want this to be a relatively quick campaign. Because, well, we can. Oh, we can't replace a civilian economy law. Urgh. That's so bad. We can only get 0.95 a day. Well, that's certainly not ideal. But after this one, uh, as much as I wanted to do this one, 
Let's come over here to the Modern Kingdom. A Modern Kingdom shall surely strengthen our nation and improve the national spirit, which gives more political power as well as more popularity of authoritarianism. Or just authoritarian support. Cool. And let's increase our silent recourse. So now we have from 0.95 to 1.35. So basically we got, at least for now, 0.4 more. Even though this will eventually go away because we got 0.05. So really 0.35 maybe? Maybe 0 0.3? 0 0.32? Whatever. It is what it is. Cool. I'll keep researching. And after a modern kingdom in independent Serbia, the uh, stock market in Vienna has to collapse first. Okay. It's a black day. And the U.S. passes a neutrality act. Cool. The effects of stock market or the Vienna stock market crash, which is kingdom of Serbia. On actually, this happens every single time. So if you'd like to read this, go right ahead. This happens literally every single time that's uh in the game, every, every campaign. So it's literally the exact same thing. So emergency economic relief. The stock market crash in Vienna has hit the entirety of Europe severely, and Serbia has sadly been no exception. Emergency measures must be enacted quickly to help those poor Serbs that have fallen to hard times to no fault of their own. Until the economy gets back on track, we must ensure that a few Serbs as possible are out starving in the streets. More stability, get more consumer goods, construction speed, which would be very, very nice, because right now we are building. We're still building. Not too bad. Not too bad. And let's grab some more army XP, because we're going to need that. We can't change this just yet, so. Military theorists, land doctrine, air... Yeah, we're going to go with that one. Military theorists is the way forward. Oh, that does not look good. Emergency economic relief. Modernize Belgrade, which should not be bad. Serbian rearmament, remove army restrictions. I like that a lot. Land forts. And independent Serbia. At last, we've achieved independence. From here, we can start reclaiming our rightful territories and unite our Serbian brothers and sisters on one banner. Ooh, is that, does that really grant us independence? If that does, that's great. We could do some manpower, though. So, I guess we'll see if that... Ooh, they might go to war with us early. Maybe. That would not be very good. Um, let's grab some of this because that would be good. And how about on our divisions? We don't even have, yeah, we have literally just guys with guns. Um, as much as I want to do engineers, I really do. <sighs> Artillery, maybe? Because we're trying to. Uh, maybe? <laughs> maybe? In independent Serbia, though. Hopefully, the Austro Hungarians do not come knocking. Serbian rearmament would be really nice to get rid of these army restrictions, get more output, get more population. Ah, oh, radio's done nice. And we probably should start doing our land auction, which I think for us, Grand Battle Plan, Mass Assault, I think I might just go Superior Firepower. I think that's usually pretty good to do, so. Serbian rearmament. Bounce up the lines. I want to go through all of these before we do anything too much else. Modernize. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad. More max factories and state. Expand the Boer Mines. Resume cash crops. We do get more political power that way. Um, the mess of Morava. But over here, Serbian rearmament would be nice. We can no longer sit idle as the world grows tenser as each day goes on. The army restrictions placed on us at the end of the Velkrieg must be repealed as long as Austria-Hungary does not want to kill us in independent Serbia. Now that we've finally severed all ties with Austro-Hungarians, we can consider ourselves free. The economic crisis they've been hit with will hit by will stop them from making any moves to try and stop our de declaration of independence. Serbia will rise again. Nice. Goodbye. Cool. That's a lot of political power. I love it. All right. Let's go to partial mobilization because we can. And we'll probably need some... Oh, yep. Death to Habsburg menace. As long as they don't come knocking at us. Um. Hello. This is very odd. I cannot... One, two, three, four, five-ish. Yes. Five. I can count sometimes. Yeah, that's... Okay. I can't make a uh, line there. Okay. That is very weird. Let's get 1.61, which is not too bad. That's not good, but obviously, eh, it could be a lot worse, actually. Mm. We got two civ civilian factories, not bad. Prepare the industry. F oh, well, crap. I wasted political power here. I should have read that to prepare the Serbian war industry. Well, maybe not, because we can only go up there, and that does act go to war economy. I did double check this, and earlier, like it said, it would just go to like partial mobilization or early mobilization. It just gets you, I believe, to the next level of mobilization, so. Montenegro and Gambit. Montenegro has long been a region of Serbian interests, with an extensive population of Serbs and importantly a coast with a shipbuilding industry for naval affairs in the Velk Creek. Montenegro and Serbia fought side by side against Habsburg hordes, and we shared a, that crushing loss. Montenegro has been closely integrated into Vienna more than ever, more than we ever were. Even though a ton is being given to Montenegro, the Montenegrin people see us as brothers and they are running sympathies for our unification. Today, a cadre of politicians and military officials have met with Alexander II with a daring proposal. Their ultimate plan is a union between us, done through political interest 
infantry rather than military might, where the regional department declares independence following a false flag incident on Montenegrin citizens before illegally forming a union with Serbia that way. An Austrian intervention would have little legitimacy, and the Habsburg menace would have no choice but to watch it unfold. Many leading Montenegrin politicians are amicable to the idea, with the Serbian Montenegrin Unionist Party, People's Party, long being dominant despite Illyrian and Austrian pressure. The plan is no doubt extremely risky, but potentially re very rewarding. The Vojvoda, Vojvoda has promised to entertain the proposal and has spoken with his spoken with his trusted advisors about how realistic the idea for Austria not interfering would be. They believe Kaiser Karl, for all his many faults, would likely prefer a peaceful resolution to such a crisis than a bloody one, but it's not an absolute guarantee. Bojovic, uh, Bojovic, as regent, will have to make the final decision. Should we pursue this Montenegrin gambit? Do it. It's too risky. Let's do it. Prepare the Serbian war industry. Reformation. Preparing ourselves. It will be removed upon the conclusion of the Third Balkan War when Bulgaria accepts the ultimatum. Um, Improved troop movement. That's not bad. And... Actually, that's on the, the Montenegrin Union, yeah. We get a core. So let's do invest in Moravit next. As part of our agricultural and mechanization process, we need the industry to support it as demand for tractors, spare parts, and maintenance sharply rises. Thankfully, the Serbian company Zadrugar, Zadrugar specializes in this, in, in this industrial sector. With extra from the state, they will be able to meet these growing demands with more ease, which is a good thing. Industrial. Oh, not bad. Oh, not bad either. Oh, boy. Oh, that's nice. I like Arso. Arso, please, yes. Offense, defense, morale. Oh, hello, Tito. Hello. The war industrialist. I would like this stuff, but I think we're going to go with this guy. Because less consumer goods factories. I mean, yeah, more speed for producing things is nice and all. And research speed is good, but we still get electronic research speed. More construction speed, just period. I mean, that is nice. Hey, it, instead of 1942, it's now 1938. Chaos and Podgorica. It appears that the situation in Montenegro is a house of cards. All it required was a little push to fall apart completely. After the growing unrest in the region, our subtle intervention and further stoking anti viennese sentiment proved to all, be, to all we needed to put the plan into action. A few days ago, the apparent murder-suicide of a Serbian family and a recruit soldier with cynical sympathy sent Podgorica into chaos. The military in the area blamed for the incident had little effect on quelling protests and eventually order broke down in the region's capital. Andreja Radovic, the leader, veteran leader of the People's Party of Montenegro and subsequently the Montenegrin Parliament, declared Montenegro secession from the Austro-Hungarian Empire. A few hours later, another action will be brought in to create a formal South Slavic Union between Serbia and Montenegro, while the Austro-Hungarian army stationed in there will be permitted to save passage out of the now Serbian lands. In just six hours, Montenegro legally annexed itself into Serbia, uniting the two nations that have been apart for so long. Of course, we know the truth about the situation. It was not a croat soldier who shot that family, but rather agents of one of the many se Serbian secret societies that were inspired by the infamous Black Hand. In addition, the bells Alexander II passed were planned weeks ago, double-checked to be as legally wide or tight as possible, and unexpected this course of events will likely bolster the support that moderate democratic parties like the Democrats and Radicals have within Serbia, likely further eroding the National Party's control over the nation. But today is a cause for celebration, and our brothers have been liberated. Sirna Gora i Serbia. Cool. No doubt that was a core, which is disappointing, but eventually we will. There you go. Is there anything we can do here? Nope. Alright. We're going to need more guns. We're going to need way more guns. It is 1937. Hope you guys are having a great year. Disperse industry and construction. Thank you very much. Hey, a little bit more population. A telegram from Vienna. For the last couple of days, Alexander II has been worriedly waiting for an Austro-Hungarian response to the events of Montenegro. Today, he's received an answer, and thankfully for us, it's a positive one. Walter von habsburg lothringen has sternly criticized the Union, claiming that Montenegro has undermined the decade of investment and opportunity as received under the rule of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. However, he has maintained his resolve for a peaceful resolution like we had speculated Austria-Hungary has for now at least given up their claim to on Montenegro and will not be conducting a military intervention into our lands. That being said, the telegram has made one threat, that being incidents against Croatian or Bosnian citizens within the serbian Montenegro Union will be seen as incidents against the citizens of the Empire and will be dealt with as such. Let them shout. Very cool. And I would like to court as fast as possible so the second Russian civil war, the DVP holds on to power, so we'll do a rural credit banks next. Simply put, credit is lacking in rural areas, often concentrated in urban areas instead. Rural credit banks are a growing presence in Algerian countries, and Serbia is no exception. These banking systems created to give poor peasants access to much-needed financial support and credit require increased government support to help grow our rural economies. Which is a very, very good thing. We could do farming subsidies, but I don't want to lose political power yet. We could still use that. Political power is not bad, but yeah, we need to do this. I want to get at least a core of it first, because down here is not bad, but we can kind of ignore it for now. We gotta get down there for an economic or independent economy. Nice. Uh, how are we doing? Are we exporting stuff? Oh, we're doing relatively okay right now. We will raise this level eventually. Volunteer only. Uh, let's take a look here before I type in anything else. Conscription. No, no, no. And I spelled it correctly, so. 
Might as well raise up the arc description level currently then. Material designer. Ooh, more defense. I like that. More soft attack and defense, but breakthrough. Ooh, that's not bad. Strength in the state goes bye bye. Superior firepower is underway, which is great, great, great. Let's grab some delay doctrine because we can. Rural credit banks. Thank you very much. Until it gains independence as well. Great job. And to do this, we need to do the Montenegrin State Serbian Union. After far too long, the Serbian brothers in Belgrade and Polgorica have once again united. Let's officialize this new South Slavic Union and toast it as the first step to a much greater federation. Oh boy, I can't wait. Let's grab some more cap because cap will be very nice to have. Yeah, we need a lot more guns. Ah, another division. Nice. Good. Oh, 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 yes. Go right there. Nice. Um, that's it for now with that stuff. So. There you go. Montenegro and Serbian stuff. Cool. So we're going to work through the Vienna stock market crash. Well, it's still doing stuff here, of course. Increase troop movement, do that one, build up our defensive lines. We might not do that yet. I want to see how hard this, the Bulgarians hit. And they're probably going to hit pretty hard, but we're going to modernize Belgrade next. Well, the capital is recovered from the destruction of the Valkyrie. Belgrade remains relatively underdeveloped compared to other European capitals. More effort and investment are required to bring the great city into the modern world. We get a bonus industry, which is nice. And a civilian and military factory. Ah, population, finally. We have enough population. Beautiful. And we got that cord, so. Nice. Now, it's not a, you know, not a massive population there, but hey, look at all that chromium and look at all that aluminum. Holy bad words. We actually have access to the sea. Nice. Beautiful. Now we can do some steel. Which is not a good thing, but whatever. We barely extract any. We might want to lower that eventually, but we'll get there soon enough. Um, I'm not sure which way to go with this, so we'll just go with... Ooh. I love artillery, but... Mm, we need the support says Vasta. Soft attack and defense, but breakthrough. That's probably better to do. Uh, support is that... Zastava. We could also form the military council. That actually be pretty good as well. Oh, my, oh, it's all the way down there. Ooh. We might want to wait. Maybe, maybe not. Well, let's just come over here then. We'll do financial advisor. Why not? Wow, look at that. Up to six. Not bad. August of this year. Wow, not bad. All right. Form the state railway directorate. So for this one, oh, actually, let's go to resume cash crop export exportation, exploration, exportation, whatever they call it. 37. Motorize eventually. Yeah, we're probably going to need to motorize. So we must also get that done now. Improved machine tools. Extraction might not be bad. I would like to maybe get a, a few planes or, just, or a plane maybe. But, resume cash crop exportation. Serbia retains a very agrarian economy, but its isolation and the recent economic troubles did severe damage to its major imports. With the economy, or economic, economic market prices largely stabilized, we can resume agricultural exports and invest these profits. Nice. And we, and towards an independent economy would be very nice. We need infrastructure, God, that's going to take so long to get down to. Probably just go to war anyways. Yeah. For the military council, let's... Let's do that one next, and then we'll do all the stuff for the Balkan War. Proposed by General Mila Nadik in the years gone by, Reform Council will go a long way to expand and modernize our fledgling army. With the Austri Austrians offer back, it's time to follow up on Nadik's proposal and commence his reforms. I know I don't I don't speak anything like Serbian or anything like that. I hope I'm saying all these words right. Probably not, but oh well. We got about two weeks left. Get more political power, more resources in the market, which actually be really nice. More consumer goods, more construction speed, more factory output, more cap. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. We could do an intelligence agency, but we really need to just keep building for now. In December, they'll have another one. Nice. Military council. Cool. And after the military council, we got other things we got to do as well. All right. Let's start preparing ourselves. So prepare our fences. That wouldn't be too bad. Ultimatum. Uh, let's get the decision done. So reformation of the Balkan League. If we're to topple the Bulgarian hegemon, we cannot do it alone. We need the help of other nations with outstanding issues with the Bulgarians. Now that Bulgaria is weakened and diplomatically isolated, we have the greatest opportunity possible. We must gather our allies in this endeavor and liberate southern Serbia. Good idea. And we will. Just give us a little bit more time. Mm, we can have enough political power later on, actually. Yeah, you know, more breakthrough. Research speed, not bad. Over here, let's go and grab this guy just in case first. That's, that's good to do. It's only 5%. That's not too bad. Farming subsidies look pretty good for us. And actually, ooh, we could use a little bit more steel. I think next up, we're going to go and lower this export focus to limited exports. 1.65 every day is not too bad. Yep, just reformation of the Balkan League. Ultimatum. We get the decision to. I would like to get down here for more guns. And it looks like maybe artillery. All that is left to do is to shift our economy to focus more on our military. With proper preparation, we shall surely overcome our enemies, no matter how big they may seem. 
Oh, and of course, we'll do that too, so. Nice. Oh, we got a little hat. Military Reform Council. We are going to mobilize even more. Division recovery goes up, as well as reinforce rate. Not bad. All right. Let's save some of our own steel. Thank you very much. Slightly better, but not great. At least we're making some artillery, which is nice. Hmm. Arabian League. Nice. 20 minutes in, and we're already almost in 1938. Awesome. A little bit ahead of time. Mm. Grab some more competing machine. That'd be probably pretty good. And then... Defense. Ooh, more soft attack. I was gonna let me focus on defense a little, a little bit more, maybe. Nice. A reformation of the Balkan League. That'll be one of the hot things in 1938 to do. The Balkan League. For years, the Serbian government has been preparing for the reformation of the Balkan League. An alliance originally created in 1912 to end Ottoman presence in the Balkans. With the current situation of the Balkans, the Serbian government has decided to reform the alliance with the fellow Balkan nations, Greece and Romania. This alliance is aimed at ending Bulgaria's hege hegemony over the Balkans. Time to send the diplomats. Great. Russian Civil War ends. Well, good job, Russia. You usually win, so. Send diplomats, yes. Greece has accepted our offer. The Greek government has announced that they accepted our offer and formally joined the Balkan Pact, could, as well as Romania. Awesome. Together, we shall be united against the Bulgarian menace. The German Empire announced support for Bulgaria. The German government has announced today that they will support the Bulgarian government in case of a war between them and the Balkan League. Whether this will be limited to arms deliveries or the German Empire will intervene with their army remains unclear. This is probably not good. Alright, now we can do it, finally. There you go. Um, just support our side. There you go. Yeah, obviously we don't have enough time to make really thick horses, but hey, we'll do what we can. Come on. Thank you. Make these guys 20 combat width, or as big as we can get them for now. Nice, there you go. We gotta throw some artillery on these guys too. And the next research will be done in about a month. And then preparing our offensives. We cannot rush into combat against our enemies without proper planning. We must study the terrain and tactics of our enemy nations. We get more planning speed and more attack on core territory. So attack in Macedonia, southern Serbia, would be obviously very good. Other though, past that, maybe not so much. And it's about a week left. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, material designer. I don't mind maybe going that for now. Yeah, let's get let's do that one for now. I think that'll be okay. We can prepare stuff for later, so. Do we have the option to threaten ultimatum? Well, the longer we wait, the stronger they get, so let's do it. De oh, we got delayed auction done too. Nice. More organization. Let's grab some more defense, shall we? They ignore the ultimatum. The Bulgarian government has declared that they refuse to give in to our demands and will continue and will ignore the ultimatum we have sent them. The only solution to this is war. To regain the lands we were occupied during the Valkyrie, they had their chance, 5,000 more manpower, 100 more political power. We go to war with them. Nice, there we go. Alright, let's move on in if we possibly can. Take all but you, and then you, and then let's encircle one dude already. And let's be smart about how we do this. We don't want to cause unnecessary casualties. We could improve working conditions. That might not be bad. We might want to go to extensive conscription already, though. Let's see our political power and see what happens first. Third Balkan War, together for victory, of course. Of course. Oh, okay. Well, everyone, how about we just go here, then? Help them out. Oh, crap. Well, all right. Oh, well, head on through there then. Yes, Russia, Russia. Yes, we love the Russians. Oh, they still been cut off. So your stupidity will cost you dearly. It's always good to kill off enemy divisions first, and there's two of them here. So not bad. And they're dead. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. Move those horses. Actually, go right there. We might be going to sickle them. Hey! The Ottoman Empire declared war on them, too. Good job, guys. War propaganda actually would not be bad to do. And I would like to do improved working conditions, so. Come on, guys. You got this. You got this. Come on. Oh, uh, yeah. You could probably just have one down and go down there and go there. Ah, uh, oh, look. Ottomans and the Russians love us. Oh, yeah. We're way out of guns. But these guys are going to help us out. Yes, please. I think these guys 20 combo with since we're going to get a lot more guns, hopefully. Bearing our offensive is nice. Uh, sure, we can do that. Improve troop movement. We can wait on that. And 
expand the bore mines. Do we need any tungsten? Yeah, we technically do, so... Explore the bore mines. Serbia has had a significant mining industry, and the mines in the bore could be expanded further with some increased government support. This will help us extract more resources in eastern Serbia and increase our economic independence, which is a good thing. It's a very, very good thing. Let's grab some of that. Thank you. Oh, we wanted to actually be able to win there, but whatever. All right, horse the boys. Pause game. Oh, there goes those guys. So, Oh, hello. You got encircled, but you know what? That's all right. We're going to cut these guys down in half. So we get down there. War in the desert. Nice. Run, 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 run. Um, are you actually... Oh, the German tanks are there. Go, boys, go. Is there anyone here in Sofia? Is there literally no one in Sofia? Oh, come on, man. That is so dumb. They actually caught us. Where's the capital? Is it over here? No, it's over here. Yeah, Varna. Keep sending boys down, then. We gotta cut them off. Cut, 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 cut them off. Support weapons, nice. Grab the next level support weapons as well. Bulgaria asked for peace. With a large part of their homeland occupied in their forces in full retreat. Bulgaria has asked us for peace. They'll hand over all over dis all disputed territories, but they will have to retreat their forces behind those new borders. An independent Bulgarian state will continue to exist for now. The Balkan League stands triumphant. All right, not bad. I think we are very, very successful. Very successful. And maybe very successful. Yeah, we don't have soldiers to be able to do that. There you go. Wee. All right, not bad. All within 26 minutes. Not bad, not bad. Um, I guess we do it against these guys. Guess we can. There you go. Cool. And you guys go there. Hopefully, we can still get some more lend from these people. Nice. Treaty of Belgrade signed. Oh, guys, don't don't end the lend guys. Please, please. All right. Ship designer. We got a couple ports. That's pretty nice. Let's come over here. Play by Visor. Foreign Dish List. Oh, do Captain of Industry because that's a little bit more difficult to produce all the time, so. Sorry for another first. Oh, guys, stop it. The VMRO mobilizes. The VM mention of the Venestresna Makadonska Revolutionarna Organizacia International Macedonian Revolutionary Organization will fill elderly, elderly Serbians with troubled thoughts. An ultra nationalist revolutionary terror group, the VMRO, long fought for Bulgarian Macedonia with brutal pre Valkyrie uprisings in Ildlin. Ilinden, and Vikas against any power that got in their way of the so called liberation of the Macedonian regime. Or Macedonian region. Since the Valkyrie, Bulgaria, and Germany, the regions have seen, seen the VMRO go into a form of limbo, fading into history with their chief goal. Our recent reclamation of Macedonia was always expected to be difficult to consolidate, but today the National Assembly has received word that Bulgarian revolutionary Todor Alexandrov has restored the organization, declaring open war against Belgrade in the process. The group does no doubt get support, clandestine or otherwise, from the Bulgarian elements, which in turn will embolden their actions. If we do not crush them swiftly, the military officials worry that the partisans may not be beatable at all. Oh, God. That is not good. So, let's not touch that. So, how do we beat these people up? Training the new guard. Might not be a bad idea. We have an Air Force stuff we can do. Expand the mines. So, we were victorious. So, victory in the, Bal the Balkans. We have achieved a decisive victory of the Bulgarians in the Third Balkan War. Nice. Research will be done soon-ish. Not bad. Not bad. And, after that, a new Serbian future. Do we want democracy? Do we want... We have to fail to go communist or radical socialist. Continue the rule of the king. I think we're going to continue the rule of the king. The king has led us to glory. There's no need to change what works. The king shall surely lead us to, a pros to prosperity and further successes in the future, in which I want to consolidate our new territories. That would probably be the best course of action, because we together against Hungary, promote uh, Macedonian investments, the Balkan Research Initiative, the dreams fulfilled, the dreams of Yugoslavia. I think so, my friends. I think so. Cool. All right. Uh, that's not bad to do. Yeah. We could raise it immediately. But, I mean, there's not really much else we can do with our political power, is there? Some competing machine would be very nice. It's still 38, so... Anything here? 38, 38, 38, 38, 38. Radar might be beneficial, so we can help discover what enemies are doing or playing against us. I guess tank stuff. Not really much here we can do, but, yeah, maybe. Because army maneuver speed would not be bad. Attrition's okay. We'll probably go speed, I guess. Chief of the Air Force would be good. Um, just keep training for now, guys. We'll make these horses like 40 combo width. So. Attacks on garrisons. With the VMRO activity ramping up by the day, so is the response to them. Military units have been, have been moved into Macedonia to assist in suppressing the organization, but they all appear to have done little 
or all they've done is paint a huge target on their backs yesterday in the dead of night. Partisans infiltrated a garrison and killed a group of soldiers before disappearing into the night. An investigation as to how they were able to enter the garrison is underway. Hunt down those criminals. Cool. Oh, we get more stabilities because he'll become a popular figurehead. And he's no text, which is kind of weird to see. He has no absolutely no text, huh? All right, we got about two weeks left for that. Not too bad. And we're building up some military factories. You know what? I'm kind of okay with that for now. Build up a few more militaries. Because you could use it. Motorized. Uh, yeah, do it right there. Stabilize. Left to ban political parties. Well, I would like to do this as fast as possible. We've gained much territory from our victory in the Third Balkan War, and these new additions should be integrated to the rest of our nation as fast as possible. Good idea. Improved infantry commit, and we shall replace that with what? Extraction? Extraction 2? Sure, why not? After that, when addressing the Macedonians, remove the VMRO resistance. That would be probably be pretty good to do. Oh, what is the cost? Addressing the Macedonians. Oh, there goes China. Okay, so Macedonia has changed hands repeatedly in recent history, and people there are certainly uh, wary of wars, occupations, and repression. We must address our concerns and properly lay out our plans for the region. Which will probably be a good thing. We lose some political power, but at this point, political power, it's not too bad. We do have 90% stability and 79% war support, so that's not too bad. And who wants to take over Romania? 83% of the way there? Okay. Industrial sabotage another day. Another worrying report from Macedonia. As our current efforts don't seem enough to snuff out the Bulgar revolutionaries, the VMRO is acting with a seemingly impunity throughout Macedonia. They've stepped up their terrorist campaigns and resorted to sabotaging and bombing factories in the region and have the twofold effect of stopping serving citizens from being able to strengthen our core territories further while also making the area less desirable for us to hold to onto in the face of ever rising violence. If we don't take radical action soon, who knows what the terrorists will do next? Hunt down those criminals. Oh, Boy, that is not good. Chinese United Front, huh? Together against Austria. Dreams of Yugoslavia, which is another mod. Daily political power cost. Oh, that is not good. Well, we do get attack and defense against uh, Austria-Hungary and the Ukraine, which would be pretty nice, actually. Still get 1.53, 92%. Still going up every week. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. How much further? Oh, peace conference. Oh. Oh, okay. That was the uh, Ottomans. Auto dudes. Oh, we can't do this yet. God dang it. There's a core. So, I guess we gotta do this one then. Encourage Yugoslavism. We are strong believers in the pan-Slavic Yugoslav movement. Believing that South Slavs all share a common cultural bond, though this isn't a, an, an uncommon belief among the intelligentsia of Serbia and beyond. Alexander wishes to encourage the Yugoslav ideology against the common Serb, aiming to build the groundwork for a future Yugoslav nation. More war sport? Great! The fourth international, not bad. And hopefully we can integrate these at a reduced cost. That'd be kind of nice. It's not a lot of manpower, not gonna lie. We only have 4.5, 4.54 million people who are actually core people, so yeah. Um, that one's almost done. How's the land auction coming along? It's coming along very nicely. How's this coming along? Not too bad. We might want to use some anti air. It's anti air is relatively not that expensive and pretty useful, I would say, so maybe we'll do that one. More excavation, perhaps? Maybe? Unless oh, this is the land auction one. Oh, it's excavation too, that's fine government officials assassinated. There's blood on the streets of Belgrade today as a pair of civil servants were shot dead in the street by an unknown VMRO assassin, who then disappeared into a shock crowd. The reason for the killing is unknown. The two men weren't involved in Serbification policies in Macedonia, nor were they particularly political partisans. What this does show is the VMRO was continuously, continuously continuing to escalate. Until now, all their actions had taken place within the recently recaptured region of Macedonia. Now Alexander's, Alexandrov's thugs are operating across the country, shooting officials in broad daylight and getting away with it thanks to our own botched response. Only God knows what they'll do next. Hunt down those criminals. And maybe we just keep some political power for encouraging after we encourage Yugoslavism. Improve the rights of Kosovan citizens. That sounds like a good idea. Constitutional reforms. Not bad. You lose some political power, but all right. Political advisor cost goes down. That's not bad. A united and strong Serbian state. The dream fulfilled. Nice. We need to own actually a lot of places, so we got to go to war with Austria, Hungary, which makes sense. And we, these guys, the, oh, we could actually do that beforehand, but obviously we didn't need it. So hey, we don't have to do stuff. Kind of okay with me. And I would like to get this one too. I would really like to get another research slot. Four is not bad, but still. Um, how do we integrate these places? Is it? Oh, is a decision here? Um, so for maybe a hundred days, is that it? I'm glad I, the people told me in the past that you should actually look at the actual screen with the decisions, events and decisions tab open, so. Okay, good. Very good. I'm glad I kept that political power then. In the meantime, uh, Balkan Research Initiative might not be bad. Political power stability. I would like to get rid of the Vienna stock market crash stuff. So, the form the state railway directorate. Currently, our various railways are controlled by three different competing organizations, which makes investment and expansion an arduous process to streamline this. We will centralize the directorates into the Serbian state railway directorate. Not bad. 
Not bad Renos. Uh, more daily authoritarian support. That wouldn't be too bad. Uh, maybe do some research speed. Why not? Because we can, right? Because we can. Uh, steel. Uh, I don't mind importing maybe one steel. Thank you, America. We love America, right? We love America. Um, build it here first. It'll be done beginning in 1939. Oh, that doesn't take too long, which I really, really love. And then overhaul narrow railways. Railway bombings. Today we received the seemingly regular bad news from Macedonia as VMRO thugs have amped up their terror campaign, now targeting innocent Serbian civilians. This morning, a full train on the relatively new Skorpsha Belgrade route was bombed, leaving at least 80 civilians dead and over 100 injured. As police and soldiers alike search for the perpetrators of this terrible crime, there is growing criticism that the central government isn't doing enough to suppress the revolutionaries. Hunt down those criminals. I'd like to get down here too, though, so that'd be good. <clears throat> Overall, narrow gauge railways. Because of Serbia's geography, the nation has many lines using narrow gauge to limit expenses and traverse rough terrain with more ease. However, these lines have seen better days and were often built under lower standards and could use a general overhaul to improve their capacity and quality. I love, love infrastructure. I love it. I should have went into industrial infrastructure management, which I can't do math, but whatever. Are we still building divisions? Hopefully we are. Of course, then again, we made these guys a little bit bigger. Artillery is looking not too bad. Can we throw enough on here? Yes, we can. Sign us up, actually. What if we... Oh, we don't have enough army XP. We could have removed some infantry battalions and replaced them with uh, other types of battalions. So, that actually probably would not be a bad idea. Mobile defense is good. Let's grab some integrated support. Because we will get some more support companies eventually. Hopefully. Hopefully, eventually. So, anything there? Cool. And you guys did a pretty good job in the war, but... You got nothing else? Upgrade. Okay. And, uh, let's see. Can we do this yet? VMRO resistance. It looks like they're two-thirds of the way there for about a month left. So we about have 20 days after this. Ooh, that takes 49 days. Maybe it's something that's really short to do. Happy 1939, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. I hope this year is going to be a great year for everyone. Now, I want a 35-day focus. That's not bad. Infrastructure there is not bad. Farming subsidies, no. This one's too much. Stabilize 35? 35. Um... National populism and radicalism. Well, constitutional reforms wouldn't be too bad. Freedom of the press. Do we really believe in that? All right. The Balkan Research Initiative. One way to unite the Balkans is to start a joint research initiative between our Slavic brothers. He unlocks a Balkan Research Initiative decisions, which would be actually really, really good. Really, really good. And we've got how many few days left? Like two weeks? Yeah, literally two weeks left before we can do this. So it's not too bad. And Austria-Hungary will eventually go to war with us. So we got to keep an eye on them, so... Government officials assassinated. Uh, I think we already read this one, so hunt down those criminals. It is what it is. And hopefully these are actually not integrated, maybe? Oh, they're super close, super close, super close, super close. Three days. Two. One. Zero. Boom. Are these cores now? They're cores. Beautiful, my friends. And we will end this episode with addressing the Macedonians. Um, have I read this? Yeah. Yeah. We're wary of wars. We lose a, quite a bit of political power, which is fine, but remove the VMRO resistance and gives us more political power, I think, right? Which is always good, yeah. More political power, more slightly more division organization, and more stability. But it's good to do that, and then promote Macedonian investments. So after that, we will do promote this one. Uh, Southern Serbia is a very poor and in dire need of investment. While this will be an expensive process with a little return in the short term, this is a necessity to ensure stability and whenever the locals to our government. But if you enjoyed today's episode, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know what should we call our intelligence, intelligence agency name. Uh, if it's a Serbian, maybe I'll copy and paste it into here. Maybe we'll just call it the Black Hand. But thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will end up in war with the dastardly Austro-Hungarians. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous rest of your day.